it's us. Uh. Today's video, we're gonna be installing the DD's quick release steering wheel. Is that is that even how it goes? Well, anyways, we're gonna be installing a steering wheel along with Steering Solutions Quick Hub, Quick Hub, Wheel Hub, and MRG's Quick Release. And also have the uh, Steering Solutions plate that allows you to keep your uh, controls for your for your for your steering wheel, like your volume, your Bluetooth, your call, all that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So sit back relax watch me do this because i don't know what the hell i'm about to do first time ever doing it so most of this video is probably gonna be like a talk through like me talking over me doing it but uh yeah let's get into it all right man so we're gonna be doing a little voiceover over this video okay so i took out all the screws those that i'm showing you are not the ones that you're supposed to be using right here is the quick release um very very nice quick release nrg did a really good job on this look at that that thing look good boy bam uh next thing i'm going to be showing you guys is me uh screwing on the screws the incorrect screws because i was definitely using the wrong ones but uh yeah you want to screw in when screwing a quick release uh this is your horn button make sure you line up your horn button bro um for me i had a little difficulty with my horn button um I'm guessing the grounds and the, the, the whatever the whatever cords whatever uh, wires you use to connect your horn, I had to solder in something else because the connector was not the right connector, bro, and it was giving me a pain in the ass. So as you guys can see right here, I'm soldering. You yeah, feel me? Your boy's a solderer. I, I I don't even know what that means, but yeah, that's me right there. Um, got the horn in. It's just so satisfying when you actually get it in and it's straight and it clicks. Satisfying. Next, bro, we're gonna be in the car. Um, there's two T30 screws that you need to remove that's on the side of your steering wheel. One on your left, one on your right. Remove those. If you got like a little special spot in your car, put those because you are gonna reuse those bolts. Well, screws. Next thing you're going to want to do is go underneath your steering wheel. There's going to be like a little panel. You're going to pop that panel off and that's going to show you access to the airbag connector and also the horn connector. You're going to remove both of those. Once you remove both of those, your airbag should be able to slide out like this. Now make sure your car has no power like at all or your airbag's gonna blow up in your face. Yeah, fuck, man. Next, you gonna bring out the big boy. If you don't have a big boy, you just use your hands, I guess. Um, it's a 14 mil socket to remove that uh, bolt that's holding the steering wheel in. And next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna smack the crap out of it like you see me doing right here. But make sure you keep the bolt slightly in so you don't pop out your uh, your clock spring. Oh, damn. And boy, I'm smacking the crap out of it. That thing still don't want to come loose. And I'm like, wait, I could just wiggle it. And boom, just like that, it is gone. Next, you want to put in your quick release. Well, your, uh, your hub, sorry, not your quick release. You want to put in your hub. Torque it down to, uh, I believe, 29 foot pounds or 31 foot pounds. You guys, you guys gonna have to check that, but you could torque it down or you could just hit it with the impact gun like I did. Um, you're gonna run your wires that you're gonna be using for your steering wheel. That's if you're gonna be using it. Um, once you run it through, it's a very simple process after that, you guys. You'll put your quick release on. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, no lie, but it's very, very doable. Once you put the quick release on, your steering wheel goes on. And that's it. All right, guys. So the camera died, sadly. So back on this camera, my iPhone. Um, I got everything wired in. Horn works, as you guys can see. 
Still able to move it in and out. You lock it in place real quick. Now we're gonna check if the airbag lights are messed up. Check if I did that right. Cause if I didn't do it right, bro, I'm fucked. Cause I, I stripped the boat. I'm not gonna lie. I stripped one of these stupid ass freaking boats. Oh snap, no airbag lights. We're good. Yes, sir, we are good. The reason why it says uh, passenger is because the camera's applying pressure. Pretty sure I pick up the camera. Oh no, it's actually because of me. I don't have my seatbelt on. There we go. So yeah, that's what's up. Steering wheel's never coming off <laughs> because uh, yeah, it's just never coming off. <laughs> All right, man. So this is where the video is going to end. Obviously, you guys know that. But uh, yeah, sorry for the short video. I, I thought I had got way more footage, but <laughs> I guess I didn't. But uh, yeah, um, huge shout out to Steering Solutions for sending me over their, their hub. Shout out to NRG for the quick release. And shout out to D&D Steering for the steering wheel, obviously. Um, this wasn't like a sponsorship video. Um, this was just, you know. A video but uh yeah man if you guys want to go pick up these stuff i will have it in the description down below go get your stuff man support the boys because they support your boy and uh yeah man if you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment subscribe follow your boy on instagram at underscore got the soda merch site you already know what it is zuvigarage.com uh links to socials i do stream i got a discord all that's in the description man Hang out with your boy, and yeah, your boy's out. Peace. Yeah.